Today I'm going to talk about why your affirmations aren't working. I've spoken to people recently who have said things like, I've been doing this for a long time and nothing's showing up. By this, they mean they've been saying affirmations to themselves and they haven't been manifesting what they want. So I'm going to address this issue now in the hopes that it improves your life. I'm going to begin with the intention manifestation cycle. With this cycle, we have your past, present, and future as evidenced by these three circles. The present moment is where we live, obviously. Now, what lots of people are doing is thinking about their past in a negative way. They're reflecting on what didn't work, regretting mistakes they made, and hating their present reality. This is causing them to reignite negative feelings from their past to create more of what they don't want and also putting forth more negativity about their current reality. By saying no to what they don't want, they're inadvertently saying yes to it through their energy. What we call the present is actually a reflection of the past. It's a reflection of past thoughts. So if you can understand this concept, you can begin now to shift your thoughts and this will create a new present for you. Now, if in your past you had some really beautiful moments, such as falling in love, playing with your dog, seeing your child born, then by all means focus on those images as they will elicit a positive vibration from you and attract more good into your life. Now, what you should be doing is imagining a future that you would like. Focus your thoughts upon that future and take action towards your new image. If your mind drifts back into the past, focus on the positive. I want to emphasize this. Focus on the positive. If your mind goes back into the past, focus on what worked. You're going to have to focus your thoughts and by doing so, your current reality will change. The next item I want to talk about is raising your vibration. When I talk about raising your vibration, I mean putting forth more of the energy of what you want. Positive energy, such as love, joy, peace, and harmony, these are of a higher vibration than negative energy, such as hate, fear, doubt, and worry. Now there's some easy, simple ways to raise your vibration. The first is through meditating. As you meditate, the resistant thoughts that you have will become less and less and your constructive thoughts will increase. This will attract new positive situations into your life that you can become aware of or that you will become aware of, which will improve your thoughts further, which will create more good in your life. It's this cycle of positivity taking place. A great meditation resource is Esther Hicks Getting Into the Vortex Guided Meditation CDs. Esther has meditation tracks for your health, wealth, relationships, and general, general well-being. And these short daily meditations are an easy way to clean up your vibration. For those of you who don't know who Esther is, she's one of the authorities on the Law of Vibration, or the Law of Attraction, which should actually be called the Law of Vibration. And the reason I say it should be called the Law of Vibration is because everything vibrates. When you think a thought, it causes the cells within your brain to vibrate and it puts forth a vibration that attracts what comes into your world. Now back to Esther, she channels a group of beings called Abraham who send her, who send her thought vibration with incredible content that she puts into words. It might sound crazy if you've never heard of her, but the content she produces is A+, so check her out. Another great way to clean up your vibration is to make what Esther calls a book of positive aspects. For one month, instead of watching TV at night, you write out what is good in your life. After a few days of this, you will begin to see changes in your life and flashes of insight and inspiration will occur now that you're aligned with, with your higher self. When this inspiration occurs, act on it. My next tip is to clean up your subconscious. 
Use things like meditation, hypnosis, or silver mind control, silver mind control, which is a method of dynamic meditation, to address deep-rooted hurts that are stopping you from acting on your good. I worked with a woman recently who had issues regarding her looks. This woman was incredibly beautiful. She could stop traffic by walking by it, but she had a negative view of herself. I did some work with her and it turned out that early on in her life, she had some mean kids who had told her untrue comments about her looks. She had, since she was a child, she had accepted this as true and was walking, walking around with a subconscious image of herself at seven years old instead of seeing herself as beautiful as she is right now. Once we cleared the issue, her outlook on herself and her whole life improved. I have tracks on my channel for a variety of subjects to help you move forward in your life. When I found out about Silva Mind Control, which is a method of dynamic meditation, it was as if someone gave me the keys to life. I now have a method where I can access my subconscious and, can and I can now clear negative experiences out of my mind and put positive programming in their place. And when I say dynamic meditation, there's two types of meditation. There's dynamic, where you focus your thoughts upon something, and then there's passive meditation, where you just sit and focus and try to clear your mind. And both meditations are great. However, I prefer dynamic meditation because I'd rather do something with my energy. But do whatever works best for you. I highly, highly, highly recommend the book, The Silva Mind Control Method, as everyone should have access to the inner power of their minds. And lastly, think a new thought. It's been said that people think over 60,000 thoughts a day. The only problem with this is people are thinking the same 60,000 thoughts a day. This is why it's so important to study new material. When you study positive material, you can absorb the ideas of the author and begin to think the way the author thinks. If you don't have time to study, use your driving time as your time for growth. So in conclusion, focus on what you want. See your new future and work towards it. Feel grateful for what you have in your life through your book of positive aspects and gratitude journal. Raise your vibration through meditation. Clean up your subconscious hurts. And think new thoughts by studying positive material. That's it for this week. I'll be back next week with another video.